This is the farmhouse where I shot the farmhouse video series. In this book 11, I'm going to go over the updates that we've done over the last 12 years, one room a year, and some things worked out and some things didn't. So just like the horse and buggy and the rail fence, we updated a few things that just didn't work out. The first item that we had to update was the Yale deadbolt that's on the front door. If you notice it in the second image here, we've got a very wide bolt. When it goes into the wall, what it does is it sucks the door against that black seal that I put on. Well, because the door is kind of half on the kitchen and half in the porch, the porch is floating. It doesn't have an actual foundation. So in the winter, it moves a little bit and it becomes very difficult to use that deadbolt because as you've seen in the previous videos, we have no doorknob or anything to pull the door close. It's an automatic closer. So in this next video clip, you'll see how we machined a angle into the deadbolt to ease the deadbolt into the wall. And that makes it a lot easier to close the door. And then one further thing that we did to the door, that round black piece that's just below the deadbolt, that is a mechanical doorbell. We bought it in England, and what it does, it's got a clockwork interior. And when you push the button, there's a rod that goes through the door, and it hits the release on that black round piece. The doorbell rings. And so we got it from, like I said, doorbellworld.co.uk, and it works quite well. The next update in the kitchen was on top of the refrigerator. Initially, we had bought an entire American Kitchens cabinet set, base cabinets and the upper cabinets. And we used some in the kerosene lab, and we took one that was designed to go over the sink, and we put it on top of the refrigerator. Here's an original image showing a complete American Kitchens cabinet set up. So this is what the inside of the American Kitchens cabinet looks like. We just put some kitchen appliances that we don't use that often in on top of the refrigerator and made it easy to get at, but it was out of the way. And because we only had one at the time, I just made a little shelf. It worked, but it wasn't exactly what we wanted. So we had a chance to buy another set of American Kitchens cabinets and with that came another over-the-sink cabinet. So I put the second one on the face of the refrigerator, and then I just took a piece of wood. I glued it between the backs of the two cabinets and then sprayed it with Rust-Oleum Porcelain Hard Gloss White. And that's what we're using on top of the refrigerator right now so that we have storage on both sides of the refrigerator because our refrigerator sets proud of the wall because of just the way the kitchen is set up, if you watched book one. So the next thing we did, we had a clock. We had it for years. It was a modern clock. It showed the, the date as well as the time. This is the only image we have of it. So we always wanted a period clock. So we found a I believe it was a clock meant for railroad stations in the 30s, but the motor was bad. So, like I did in the living room, I took it apart and I put in a full sweep secondhand motor. And that's what it looks like up close. We took the original hands and super glued them on top of the modern hands that comes with the little battery unit. And then I've got just a short video here showing how it looks. It looks exactly like it was supposed to when it was running on electricity.
The final update in the kitchen was the lights of the cooktop vent hood. They were about 3,500 Kelvin. They were yellow. They're LEDs. They work, but we just really didn't care for the yellow. And so I contacted the company, and they said that when you order the lights, you can specify white or yellow. It's kind of interesting because they have just one part number for all the lights. But anyway, we ordered a set, and here you can see the left side is the yellow, and the right side is the white. So with those installed, you can see the light is much whiter and provides much more light than the yellow ever did because it's a higher Kelvin. I think they're about 6,000. So that pretty much takes care of the updates that we did in the kitchen over the last 12 years.